I'll take a motion to adjourn this meeting. A second, please. A second. Thank you, sir. Motion made by Councillor Hensley, second by Councillor Dow to adjourn the City Council meeting. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? That goes 6 0. We are adjourned on that meeting. All right. And that. Now we're going to convene the urban renewal meeting. We're not going to change chairs uh, in the interest of time. I will chair the meeting from this position. Uh, the Canby Urban Renewal Agency Special Meeting of June 19th is hereby convened. Um, we don't have a consent agenda, I don't believe, tonight. Okay, uh, next item on the agenda is citizen input and community announcements. And this, uh, this is citizen input on anything that's not on the agenda tonight, which is our budget and library issues. Okay, seeing that, uh, hearing none, we now have a public hearing on the 2013-2014 fiscal year budget. Kim, do I need to read? I don't have, yeah, I have to read the, his thing? I mean, the, the script. all right. I can't just say ditto the <laughs> public hearings from earlier. <laughs> Um, okay, the, okay, tonight there is one matter before, before the hearing body that requires a public hearing. All interested persons in attendance shall be heard on the matter. This is all written in plural. Um, if you wish to testify on these, this matter, please fill out a yellow comment card and give to the city recorder. Uh, the public hearing has to do with our budget, just for clarification. At the appropriate time, please step forward to the microphone, state your name and interest in the matter. Those people that are interested in testifying as either proponents or opponents, please indicate your desire to speak by raising your hands at this time. Does anyone plan to give testimony on our budget, pro or con? Okay, saying none. Uh, do I have to read the part about selling time, buying time? No. Okay. Uh, all questions must be directed through the chair. Um, any evidence to be considered must be submitted to the hearing body for public access. All written testimony received both for and against shall be summarized by staff and presented briefly to the hearing body during the staff report. The public hearing will be conducted as follows. Staff report, then questions, if any, by the uh, uh, agency members. Uh, then we'll open for uh, the public hearing for testimony, first proponents, then opponents. We'll close the public hearing uh, for testimony, have questions, if any, by the hearing body and discussion. A decision shall be made by the hearing body at the close of the hearing on this matter, or it will be continued to a date certain in the future. This will be the only notice of that date you will receive. Does anyone have any questions about the procedure of the public hearing? Okay. We'll open the public hearing uh, on the 2013-2014 uh, urban renewal budget. And who is, Haley, are you going to present this? Or? So the budget hearing is at, for the budget as adopted by the budget committee, which is Dave Hensley, Councilor Dow, and Mr. Hensley. Okay. Uh, is kind of included in the, the resolution that I drafted for you, which will need to be amended either way. So the budget does, I mean, the uh, the resolution does not need to be amended? The resolution will need, uh, the written part will have to be updated by me either way because the total at the top of the resolution in your packet does not match the totals in the uh, appropriated portions. The appropriated portions got updated for the intern, intern loan but the total at the beginning of it did not. However, the hearing, which we have to have now, does not needs to be on the budget as approved by the budget committee, which did not include the interim loan. Okay, okay. Got it. All right. Um, the budget committee has approved the urban renewal budget is now uh, open for public discussion. Um, is there anyone wishing to give testimony on the urban renewal 2013-2014 budget? Uh, hearing none, the public hearing portion will be closed, and we will move to resolutions and ordinances. 
Uh, and the first item of business is URR 13-005, a resolution adopting the Urban Renewal Agency budget for the 2013-2014 fiscal year. Discussion or a motion? Uh, I guess a couple of comments on the on the budget. Um, in the in the budget, we've got funds dedicated for the facade program, which um, we have great momentum on and are moving on that. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we need to move and second. You're correct. I move. So I move for the sake of discussion. I move uh, URR 13-005, a resolution adopting the Urban Renewal Agency budget for the 2013-14 fiscal year. Second. Uh, the motion to adopt the urban renewal, uh, adopt uh, urban renewal resolution 13-005, the resolution adopting the budget was made by Commissioner Hensley, uh, second by Commissioner Ryder. Discussion. Discussion. Right. Thank, Thank you. you for the matter of order. Uh, again, the as I was saying, the money that's in the, there for the facade improvement program, uh, we're seeing a lot of momentum on that, and a lot of uh, buildings taking shape, which I think is great. Um, uh, two concerns I have is um, I think that we have a miss because we're not providing funding for any of the 99E beautification projects that we've talked about over the years. That seems to have slipped out of the uh, out of the conversation. Um, I, I would rather see money for that than the quiet zone piece. Um, and then the money uh, for extension or land purchase to extend community park. Um, I, I'm all for the park piece I just my question on that or making sure that we do is what is the plan on that and the design before we decide what it is we want to do um, and then you know the ongoing piece how do we afford to maintain that that piece of property with with purchase and putting in a park those are my concerns on the urban Renewal agency budget if I could just make a comment on the community park Thing. I don't think they're anywhere close enough to put anything in the budget to um, plan. I mean, to implement uh, if they can come up with the with the uh, deal to take to do the property. I don't think it'll happen this fiscal year. Would it? Uh, well, it. I mean, then would it be better to designate money at least to? I mean, is it a matter of dividing, designing a plan, or uh, to at least get that ball rolling before? I guess the bigger chunk of going out and trying to purchase that that added land. Well, I, th I think that money was put in there for the the purpose of looking at purchasing that land um, if it comes up for sale this year, and then uh, that would take a planning um, project to find out what we're going to do with it. Uh, and it's probably quite a bit of money to get something in there to do something to make that usable. Uh, that we're talking about that water down at the probably the south side of the current community park so i think there's three hundred thousand dollars in the budget for that purchase in the city yeah. well i i guess that again the, the, creating the plan for it first and then deciding yeah. you know or at least figuring out yeah. what we'd want to designate that area yeah. for is that has there been conversation at the parks board for that well the conversation is that the, the, the um, at least part of the acquisition if not most of it would be covered out of the parks development fund and that it would, it's a city action, not an urban renewal action, if that's the, in that case. Okay. There may be elements that they may come and look for some assistance in, in the original urban development plan of 13 years ago. There was a placeholder for um, community park improvements. Okay. But it's not been acted on. Right. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? Discussion? All those in favor of approving resolution URR 13-05, a resolution adopting the budget, and, and, and the resolution will get an updated number. Do you want an updated total? Yeah, yeah. The total would be $17,347,028 as appropriated in this resolution. Okay. So the resolution, the number changes from what was printed to $17,347,000. $28. All those in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Uh, opposed? No. It's a I'm aye as well, Rich. Sorry. Six to, six to one. 
uh, vote to approve it. All right, the next item on the agenda is resolution URR 13-06, which is a resolution authorizing an intergovernmental agreement for the borrowing of money. Since there is no offer to loan the money from the city, then that resolution will not be acted on. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Greg, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Sorry. Yeah, All right. Somebody else wants to okay. um, So what we're now going to move to is Uh, resolution 13007, a, re a resolution approving a purchase and sale agreement between Canby Urban Renewal Agency and the Canby Utility Board to purchase property for the new library project. Before we start discussion, I, I just have a basic question. If we were to approve the purchase of the property, for this purchase and sale agreement, and then we were unable to or did not fund it, what is the consequence? There Maybe contingencies in there for that. Okay. Can, can maybe Joe help me? Joe, help find a contingency. Sorry, contingency. I I That's <laughs> quite all right. I, I need to disappear soon, too. So, um, My question had to do with if we, before we get into the discussion of the, the resolution, mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to know if there was uh, contingencies in here that if we approve the, the purchase agreement with Cam Utility, mm -hmm. but were either did not fund it or were unable to fund it, what is what is the liability to us of accepting this agreement well, or approving this agreement? It's predicated on um, actually not only being able to fund it, but um, being able to uh, pass muster and all appeal at the planning process too. However, I'm trying to think if, I mean, at any time, um, you can agree not to do so. It, it, it's a question of whether or not your earnest money, uh, or your escrow money, I should say, uh, is forfeited, if that answers your question. Right, and the escrow money? Um, is 7500 as, as it's written. All right. Is that answer? Does that? Yes. Because if, if it isn't through a fault of your own, then the escrow money goes back to the city, or I should say the urban renewal agency. But um, if if it's a, just a choice, then you lose that seventy five hundred dollars. Okay. All right. I, I wanted to ask that question before we entered into Can a long discussion. Question? Yep. Um, um, just a minute. One of those moments. Um, why is running my tongue? Um, if we, since we haven't heard from the planning commission, hasn't. Uh, it hasn't come to this committee from the Planning Commission of their decision, hmm. which was to not accept the plan for the library. Uh, should we be voting on any kind of funding of the library until we've heard from um, the commission? Since they've not approved, I mean, they disapproved. You're, you're not going to hear from the commission. They made a decision to not approve the site and design review. Okay. That site and des that decision has been appealed to this body, the council, not the urban renewal district, to the council. The commission's not going to come to you at all. Okay, but I mean, um, we haven't and heard that appeal. No, yet, and you right? won't until July 17th. But in here, there are conditions that say if the land use or the uh, any land use decisions are not made in favor of going forward, then this document, the sale, won't take place. So there are provisions in there to make sure that um, the council and the city are protected as is CUB, can be utility. So it is appropriate to go forward. It is appropriate to okay. um, say yes to this purchase and sale agreement. Okay. Okay, there are other questions from the... Well, and I should, I should also just 
as, as a matter of clarity, this is a different body than what is going to hear. And as strange as that is, because you're yeah. the same members, but yeah. te technically this body is making a decision in a government um, entity. It, yeah, it's a government entity entirely separate from the government entity that's going to hear the appeal right. of the Planning Commission. If that's a, that's an ex mm -hmm. actually an added layer of um, separation. Yeah, separation. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, <we> don't. <laughs> I never worked in it. Thanks. It's getting late. <laughs> one I'll, I'll take as many brains as I can. <laughs> Do you know what uh, interest rate that loan would be for 10 years? We don't. And, I'm sorry. I'm sure. You mean if the people I talked to today? Mm -hmm. And they all they told me was it would be between five and six. And, and if you know, we did now because the rates are um, they're edging up, as I think Commissioner at this point, uh, Hodson can tell you, rates are going up. So, um, but it's close to or a little above what an interfund loan would be on a 10 year note. What's the resolution for the for the budget? Is this for me? I don't know if we want to do that when this resolution is completed, or before. yeah, let's let's not confuse the two. Okay. We need a we need a resolution. I mean, a clarification on the okay. resolution on the budget. <laughs> we'll, we'll go back to that. Um, okay, so. What's your question? And I don't know. I'm sorry. The question was, I they didn't know, uh, but they they estimated between five and six on a ten year. And have you also looked into an issuance of a municipal bond to see what the rates would be there? I did. Um, it, they would be lower, but um, one of the uh, things we have, in fact, uh, the city attorney I talked about it. It's what they call low cap, and a uh, million dollars is not in their ballpark. They're looking for different size funding. So in fact, uh, it was recommended by the people who sell bonds that I don't do that, I that, I don't, that we don't pursue the bond, <coughs> pursue commercial loan. Okay. okay, other questions at this point? Okay, I do have one card for testimony before we uh, take a motion, uh, and Tracy Height. <coughs> So Tracy Hyde again. So I have a qu point of clarification, I guess. If you vote down the Cub sale in the next couple minutes, does that essentially kill the new library? Can you answer that? I mean, is that or is that too big of a question? Well, it could, okay. in my opinion. Uh, we would have to go back and, and negotiate if Cub was amenable to it to purchase potentially just the lot. The parking lot. The parking lot right. that's right on Second Avenue. Okay. So, okay. So I, before you, I guess you vote, I just wanted to uh, call your attention to the, the front page. I'm sure, I know you all read it of the paper to yesterday um, here. And so it says library update pieces falling into place. I'll just read the first paragraph. With the voting done and, the most, and most of the obstacles cleared, the Canby Public Library project continues to move ahead with the hope of breaking ground in August. It's a bit ironic, I guess, given today, um, what's going on today. But um, so here it is. And if it doesn't happen, there's humiliation, resentment, a lot of disillusionment, a lot of, I'm not sure what the citizen reads. I, I mean, it's, it, I'm afraid of what's going to happen in, in, in Canby. And then two, two million dollar penalty, right? For the yeah. bonds. Get the money back, no. which we not necessarily. Getting. Okay, but you'll discuss that further. No? I don't think, it is of my opinion that the money does not be returned. So there is no two million dollar penalty. For the bonds. Correct. That we will just, we will, have to look at other, either other ways to spend the bond money or we go back to a drawing board and discuss another option. Like on April 17th when we realized that there wasn't a better option? Well, that... Right? We didn't that, fully discuss options. We, we that, turned the boat around really fast that night. <laughs> and so, to your okay. point, though, that, that it, there was that discussion of, of other options that okay. may or may not be feasible. Okay. So I just want to say all this for a parking lot. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Wayne Scott. Uh, 